Hello, and welcome to the third video of the GastroPlus 9.7 tutorial dedicated to support files and how to load your data in GastroPlus. Before having a look at GastroPlus, I want to describe you the file hierarchy of the software. In the previous video, we created a database that contains all of our projects. Within this database, we will have multiple records. We've already created the first record named Midazolam Admet 9.5. What we will do now is create a new record named Midazolam in vitro, in which we will integrate the in vitro measurement of Midazolam. Then in the next videos, we will create new records to define the IV studies in human and to simulate the observed data. You can have as many records as you want in a database, and each record should represent a specific studies, whether it's a different dose, a different formulation, or a different species. For each record, we have different support files that can be used to load either in vitro measurement, such as particle size, solubility versus pH, or in vivo measurement, PK and PD data. So for Midazolam, as I previously mentioned, we have some in vitro measurements for log P, PK, and blood to plasma ratio, for example. So now I'll show you how to load this data into GastroPlus. We have our database that was just created, and we have one record that contains all of the properties that have been estimated by in silico models using ADMET predictor module. We want to make sure we keep that information in our database. So first, let's create a new record. To do so, go to database, and we want to copy that new record because we have only information for five parameters, but PPK model involves much more than five parameters. So all of the other parameters that we don't have, we will use in silico predicted parameters. So just go to copy the record, and we can give it a name. So go for midazolam and in vitro. Click on OK and save it. First, let's change the log p. So the, val the value predicted by admet was 3.56. Let's change the value to 2.7. The path has a value of 4.57. For the PK information, let's click on the PK table. Admet predictor estimated two PKs for this compound, one at a value of 4.57 and one at a value of 0 0.84. In vitro, only one PK was measured at a value of 6.04. So we will change the value that is the closest. So let's change the 4.57 by 6.04 and click on save. The last values we want to integrate in the model are the human FUP or plasma free fraction and the RBP, the blood to plasma ratio. These two parameters can be changed in the pharmacokinetics table. A value of 0 0.55 for the blood to plasma ratio and 4.4 percent for the FUP were measured so let's integrate them into GastroPlus. So at this stage we have integrated the FISCAM measurements that are directly entered in GastroPlus. For more complex information or parameters that change with certain metrics such as pH we have a series of support files. To integrate this data, simply click on File, Load, and you can see in total 12 support files. The first one will help you to integrate the dissolution rate or Z factor as a function of pH. 
The second one will be to load the chemical degradation rate of your molecule as a function of pH. The third and the fourth support files will help you to load in vitro dissolution profile or the corresponding in vivo dissolution profile for the option three. Option five will help you to load either tissue or plasma concentration time course following IV dosage route. And the option, option six will be, your, will be used for any other dosage form. Option seven is a support file that will help you to mimic any complex dosing schedules, combination of IV bolus and IV infusion, combination of IV and peros, or multiple formulations. Option eight provides you the opportunity to load solubility versus pH data. Option nine focus on the pharmacodynamic data versus time. Option 10 will give you the particle size information and particle size distribution. And finally, the option T can be the precipitation time versus pH. And finally, you can also load a specific defined gut physiology. So the take home message of these videos are First, for many parameters and most of the physical chemical properties of your drugs, you can simply copy them into GastroPlus where they belong. But for more complex data sets, such as in vitro measurement or in vivo pharmacokinetics or pharmacodynamics data, we have a series of support files. To load a support file, and we will do that during that phase to load IV data. It's simple. You go to File, Load, you select the appropriate support files, and then you can simply copy and paste your data from an Excel spreadsheet. Thank you very much for joining us for this third video, and I will see you in the next one. As always, for more information, you can visit our website or send us an email. Thank you very much.